Hey everyone, this is Lou at Lightpoint Scientific, and today I'm going to show you how to compute the cloud to cloud distance between an exemplar vehicle and a damaged vehicle using Cloud Compare. Okay, so now we're over in Cloud Compare. We have the exemplar vehicle on the left and then the damaged vehicle on the right. So the first thing we're going to do is align these two vehicles manually, uh, just roughly. They don't need to be perfect. Uh, once we get them roughly aligned, then we can ask Cloud Compare to make the, the fine adjustments from there. So for this, I like to go to the top down view and we are going to hold the exemplar vehicles position constant uh, from here on out. So we will select the damage model and then click on the translate and rotate tool. And we're going to uh, restrict rotation to, uh, to the Z axis only and then right click on that point cloud to move it over to the approximate position of the exemplar. I'm going to switch views here and just make sure it's pretty close in the Z direction as well. I'll turn off uh, for the time being translate on the X and the Y and just look at Z and get those pretty close. So that should be close enough for Cloud Compare to work its magic from here. All right, so if you control click the exemplar and the damage model and then go to the find registration tool, which is right here. Uh, once we click on that, it's going to ask us for a little bit of input. First things first, the reference geometry. Uh, again, we want that to be the exemplar model and not the damage model. So if you just quick swap here, you can see now our reference is the exemplar. Um, so we're good to go there. And then we just want to give Cloud Compare uh, a final overlap target. Uh, so it has uh, some idea how, how much these two point clouds should overlap. So for this, I think something around 90 uh, is, a good, is a good estimate. And you could try uh, iterate pretty quickly here, try 80, try 90, uh, and, and you'll know when everything aligns properly. If you select a number that's too high, the point clouds won't align and it should be uh, visually obvious. Select OK, and this generally just takes five seconds or so. And then it gives you a uh, transformation matrix. Here we had scale set to fix, which should be the case. Uh, if you're using two point clouds, both from laser scanners, then you should not be asking uh, the scale to be adjusted at all. So we're keeping that fixed. Okay, so now we have uh, the damage model came up. Now the color is in a scalar format. I'm going to turn that back to RGB and then kind of zoom in and just visually uh, inspect this alignment and make sure everything's looking good. And I have no reason to believe it wouldn't be, but I just want to make sure. So I'm going to turn on and off the exemplar and kind of look in some certain key areas to see if everything's lining up well and it appears to be lined up great. So from here we're just going to uh, ask Cloud, uh, cloud Compare to compute the cloud to cloud distance uh, between each point cloud uh, essentially to its nearest neighbor. So we're going to click on the damage model, we're going to click on the exemplar and then uh, up here there's a little icon for computing cloud to cloud distance. So we're going to click that. Again, we want the reference to be the exemplar, and here it is, so we're in good shape. Press OK, and it'll do some preliminary math and calculate the cloud-to-cloud -cloud distance so that you can then fine-tune here. Um, so if you look at approximate results, it says the minimum distance is uh, 0, the max distance is 0 0.56, and now when you go back to general parameters, you can set what you want that uh, max distance to be in this uh, computation. So I'm, I'm generally just let Cloud Compare uh, establish what that is and move forward with that and have had good results. So now if you click uh, Compute, it'll do the final calculation. And this takes a, a little bit more time, somewhere between 30 seconds and a minute, depending on how many points you have. Well, that, that took about 10 seconds, so we're good to go now. And you can see that it takes the uh, um, damage model and turns it into a scalar that is now based on the cloud to cloud distance. So the blue suggests that there is very little difference between the exemplar point cloud and the damage point cloud. And then as you get towards the, the hotter colors, that means there's more of a disparity between them. So that's, uh, that's the crush distance. So now down in this uh, properties pane, we can scroll down a little bit and ask it to show the uh, scalar, the scale for that scalar. So now you can see that the red is a cloud to cloud distance of uh, 0.6, and I believe that's feet here, and then the blue is zero. So we can uh, make a beautiful graphic 
uh, for, for demonstrating what the uh, deformation is, and this allows you to perform uh, really in-depth analyses for figuring out what, uh, what the damage looks like, where the majority of the damage is, and this can also be exported as a CSV very easily uh, to uh, run any calculations that, that might be pertinent. And I find that, that uh, export to a CSV to be most useful when doing motorcycle collision reconstruction where we're most interested in the maximum crush to the car as opposed to calculating, you know, say 6C measurements. Um, so uh, this uh, process is, is pretty straightforward, just takes a couple minutes and you can make uh, beautiful uh, demonstratives for, for your report or presentations.